and welcome back to another coverage night nine eight vlogs by monthly update video it's the end of another month end of another two months sorry uh, so time for another one of these little update videos uh, there was meant to be another video out before this one but that got delayed because of other stuff so yeah as we can see from part of the title Heritage is back. Mainline Heritage has finally returned, even though it was technically meant to return prior to the last uh, update. That one had to be cancelled due to a lockdown, but whatever. Uh, so, uh, Mainline Heritage trains are finally back, uh, and even Steam trains are finally back. Uh, finally, after since um, the last one ran in November 2019. So, here's a quick compilation of uh, the last three Steam tours running, and then we'll get back into it to speak about some of the other tours which operated. Alrighty, so all those are, well, all but one of those are now available on the main channel, so yeah, no, the, that last one will be put on later on once I get a chance to fit into the schedule. Haven't had much time available to get um, videos uploaded more than once at the moment, but that should hopefully soon be sorted um, at the end, uh, around mid-June. Anyhow, uh, so... Yeah, a lot of tours, pretty much every weekend has had a tour of some form uh, ran, uh, so that's uh, good to see Heritage Trains finally getting back, it's been, well, it's been a year since Heritage Trains running, so uh, we started off the year with a weekend, full, uh, with two tours, the um, uh, AC6 and S306 on the Greenlander sleeper tour, and uh, S313's uh, birthday tour, uh, which was actually delayed by a week uh, due to planned works on the um, Seymour line. Uh, sorry, Craigieburn line, wrong line. But yeah, so the, that that started us off, and then we had Y112 run out uh, run out on its first um, uh, on its trial run, basically for the first time uh, since. I can't remember when the last time the Y ran, but it's been quite a while since the Y has ran on the main line, anyways, because of a con consecutive faults which have been, it, which has been, ha it has been having, and again had a few issues on the tour again, which is what that test tour was pretty much for, oh, just to find out if it's going to work properly. So yeah, so it's been, and then since then we've had the uh, the replacement Otway tour, which was what was meant to start the season off, but that got pushed back due to uh, due to um. The, Cancellation, obviously, uh, due to lockdown, obviously, and then yeah, that's pretty much um, with our, our first model railway exhibition last month at the um, well, our first Victorian model railway exhibition since um, Sandown last year, which was um, the Easter model railway exhibition at Diamond Creek, uh, and we also went headed up to New South Wales on the border town of Albury, where it was 3801, same weekend. So, yeah, it's been a nice and busy few days. Uh, few weeks and it's only gonna it seems to be only getting better with um the the likes of the steam spectacular 
the Southern Scene Spectacular, sorry, coming up at the end of May. Uh, some, a few other tours, of course, happening between the, before then. For example, the Round Sale this weekend, uh, i.e. the 2nd of May, if you're watching after the um, day of this video's upload. And yeah, so lots to look forward to. Hopefully, they will continue to operate uh, for until well for the foreseeable future. All right, so into other news. Um, uh, standard news stuff. Um, where well, there's been talks about the airport rail link. They ha finally had the first look, uh, first um, sort of uh, artist impressions of. The airport rail link has now become available to the public uh, on the Victorian's big build website that will be linked in the description below. It's looking quite nice, it's, they picked the route to go via Sunshine um, and via uh, McIntyre. So that's the way, they'll be creating brand new tracks for them to run so the freight trains can still run uh, away from the passenger trains which is the way to go with it honestly. Uh, other things which have happened in the last two months, uh, there was a derailment down in Bowman, I think it's pronounced, outside Wagga Wagga. Uh, it's an SCT freighter, der derailed, um, everyone has been stated as being fine, which is a good thing. Uh, but uh, it has, uh, it did um, close down the northeastern rail line for a few days, uh, I think it was about a week. So, but uh, before they allowed trains through the, the mainline track because the train derailed on the loop track. Uh, currently there is a little issue in Melbourne, which is uh, the starting from the 2nd of May, the timetables for some tram routes have been changed, so anyone who lives in particular tram routes, make sure you keep watch on those changes to timetables, due to, um, well, a lot of the older trams, the A, Zs and B class trams are lacking on spare wheels, so they've had to jig uh, the timetable so that they can ensure that they have enough uh, to can operate the services. So please, uh, please watch out for those tra uh, changes in the timetable from Yarra Trams. And there's been talk about the Inland Rail, though not as much affected in Victoria again. It's predominantly an issue towards up in Queensland with um, uh, with, the, with the direction of where the track is. There's a lot of communi uh, community issues with where it's planned to go but in the long run the inland rail uh, after this has all been sorted is still going to be a great um boost to hopefully bring more rail traffic onto um rails because uh railways are still very efficient at um running freight between two points um especially it's going to be a great competitor to using ships um the trucks are still going to be good for in terms of shorter distance routing and um, for one-off sort of routing whereas the train is still going to be good for those mass transportation um, uh, so yeah alright so time to get into updates for the uh, for the um, uh, for the channel so everything's been going pretty much fine as we know from a previous from a post on the community tab and on the Facebook page uh, for the pretty much the entirety of July uh, of April, sorry, uh, we've had uh, we haven't been able to use our main camera due to a few issues, but that has all been sorted finally. So the camera only just returned uh, uh, on Wednesday, so that video uh, that camera should uh, should be taking over again from this weekend. Um, so hopefully it wasn't too bad having a different camera running from the main channel it's honestly the quality wasn't that bad it's just being the being able to zoom and that sort of stuff and uh, correct um, like sort of um, framing was a little bit off um, uh, but uh, everything should be going back to normal hopefully we can deal with our focusing issues which the uh, old which the camera originally had so yeah but yeah so that's uh, slowly going to be getting back to normal uh, and yeah, uh, everything else is pretty much uh, going as it is. A behind the scenes video was meant to be uploaded prior to this video around mid this uh, mid this month, mid April. Uh, although it got delayed due to a whole lot of assignments which had to be completed. So yeah, that's been pushed back to after this video. That video is actually in the work at the moment and should be finished very, very soon. Uh, once I get the time to sort it out because currently there is a whole lot of 
other videos to also edit which isn't related to this channel it's related to, uh, to another project which has been going on lately which, uh, so that's been keeping me busy so yeah anyhow I hope you all have enjoyed joining for this little video I hope you uh, all will stay tuned for more there will be more content coming soon uh, another uh, this a the videos are going to be begin finally begin being recorded for this channel again now that the uh, now that the video camera has returned so because I, I can't record with a phone anymore there's problems with the uh, both storage and the camera on the phone so uh, it's predominantly just the video camera now taking over for recording for this channel as well but yeah so Thank you all for watching, uh, hopefully, hope to catch you all next time, hope to catch you all soon actually, because we should hopefully have more videos coming out very very soon, and yeah, see you all down the line.